Hey guys, Liverlinks here. It's been a little while since I've been able to sit down and film because I've been working such a busy schedule. I go pretty much for overtime every week and so on. So I've just been really busy and even on my days off, I've just been trying to go out with people because I'm not going to be able to do that otherwise. But today I wanted to be able to sit down and film a video after all this time. And I happened to find this Flareon box at the Dollar General. I also got my Vaporeon and Jolteon boxes at different times there. So now with this one, I'll have been able to open all three different packs, and I'm excited to see what I'll get. I really like the design of this Flareon card, it's really cute. And just like all the other ones on the back, a Pokemon Power Trio. It's time for a knockout with three of Eevee's evolutions, each one battling in a different style. Choose the Aquatic Chill of Vaporeon, the Lightning Speed of Jolteon, or the Fiery Blaze of Flareon in the Pokemon trading card game, Triple Effect Tin. Each of these tins contains a wonderful Pokemon with a love of battle and an ability that could be a game changer. So without further ado, I am going to get right into this and open it up. Alright, so here is the tin. I really like how they look, they're always nice. And then if we open it up, then obviously the first card we've got in here is this adorable Flareon. Here we are. Alright, and then there are three booster packs in here. So first of all, we are going to start off with the XY Fates Collide pack. So let's see what we get here. Starting off, we have a Bronzor. I have plenty of these dudes. <laughs> then we have Deerling. I have those as well, so it's all just common stuff. Carbink. Still nothing too exciting. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to get a lot of duplicates, which is about what I should expect from these packs. Fennekin with Chikorita here. Got that one. Here's a different design for me. Seal, looking very adorable. Is this supposed to be the Aether Paradise? I'm not really sure, but I like it. It's really cute. Alright, here we have a cool Weezing card. Alright, I like the design of this card too. It's Aerodactyl looming over the city, looking like a total badass ready to attack. Oh, the design of this is really beautiful as well. We've got the fairy garden, just full of flowers, a little pokeball in the center. I like that. This card's pretty cute too. Team Rocket's handiwork, with a bunch of grunts looking ready to beat you up in a back alley and snatch up your Pokemon. And then an Altaria Spirit Link. I've got a couple of those. And that is the end of the first pack. Not super exciting, at least for me to begin with, so let's hope for a little bit of better luck when it comes to XY Ancient Origins. So let's open it right up. Alright, so starting off with this pack, we have Larvesta. Now I think that I have this one if I'm remembering correctly, but I do like the fiery design of this. Next up, we have a card I'm never upset to get, an adorable little Ralt, and I don't think I have this design, just peeking through the cracks. It's really adorable. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have this as well, but it's always cool to get these kinds of cards with the art just like taking it up. So here's Baltoy. Next up, Relicanth. I feel like Relicanth is one of those Pokemon that's like very forgettable for me and then I see them and I'm like, oh yeah, that one. <laughs> but they are cool. Here's Inke, a favorite of a friend of mine. <laughs> It's so cute. I don't have this design of the card yet, and that's just adorable. It's just spewing ink, and it even lists it as its move there, Ink Spit. That's really adorable. Ooh, a nice, sleek Persian card behind the bench. I really love Persian. It's such a cool-looking Pokemon. <gasps> Ooh! 
A couple card opening videos ago, I was lucky and got a Blaziken card, I think in the GX form rather than EX, but now kind of to go with that, I have Sceptile EX. That looks really cool. Alright, so this card is already, this card pack rather, is more of a success than the last one, so that's good news. This is really awesome. I always love the designs of these cards. Alright. And then we have a cute fairy whimsicott card. An energy recycler. And then an Ariados card leaping through the grass. I'm not a fan of spiders, but it's still kind of a cool card design. And that's it for this pack. So that just leaves one more. I'm hoping that maybe I can go and get some good luck like in the second pack, but who really knows when this happens. It can be countless common cards, or it can be a couple really cool ones that end up making my day. The fun of it is the mystery, so let's just get right into XY, Roaring Skies, and see. Alright, to start off here, we have a Spiro just standing on the ledge. I feel like I always like stare at the art of the cards way too much because I just like seeing all the different styles that they present. A wingle card to add to my thousands of other wingle cards exactly like it. <laughs> Vinacle, one of the ugliest Pokemon in my opinion from Kalos. Ugh. And in general if I'm being honest. Pikachu, I have plenty of these ones as well. Ah, another one I have plenty of. This this design of the NK card, I feel like I must have a million of these by now. We have the Ladio Spirit Link. Ooh, okay, that looks really nice. The art taking... Does this count as full art or a half art? <laughs> It's also holofoil slash holographic. I still haven't looked that up, and I'm so sorry, but it looks really nice, like it's out in the jungle. Here we have Togetic, a Pokemon that I really love. I love Togepi in all the evolutions. Togekiss is one of my favorite Pokemon. Really cute. Here we have a Healing Scarf. And a Dragonair card. I like the art of this. It's really sweet. I can't imagine the time that people must put into making these. It's really awesome. But that is it for this deck. So I feel like the coolest card that I got, obviously, is the Subtile EX. That's awesome. Now all I need is a Marsh Tomp to go with my Blaziken and Subtile. And that completes this Flareon box opening. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to put out more videos soon. Um, you should let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I'm open to doing anything. I've been thinking about remaking some past videos such as my top 20 Pokemon list again, or giving more opinions on Pokemon anime and manga. I'm probably going to do a Pokemon Adventures like discussion slash review video soon because I'm rereading through it to catch up back to where I had left off previously. And I want to put my thoughts out there. I've been seeing a lot of videos recently for whatever reason that are talking about the Pokemon Adventures manga. And I think that's great because I think that more people should know about it because at least for me, especially at this age now, it's a lot more fun to look at than a lot of other aspects of Pokemon. Because it's not afraid to get a little bit darker while not being obscenely dark and just too much and over the top. So anyway, let me know what types of videos you'd like me to see, like to see from me. If you'd like me to do more card openings, reviews, so on. I obviously post a lot of random content. So please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content. And I really hope to see you in another one. Goodbye. Fun side story, actually, now that I think about it, that I forgot to tell in this video. While I was buying the Pokemon cards for this video, we were going around to a couple different stores in town to just look through, see what we wanted to buy. And I went into a Rite Aid, 
and I just picked up some candy, and then I went to the counter to purchase it, and the lady looked and saw that I had the Pokemon card tin in my purse, and she's like, um, did you buy those here? And then I remembered passing by some Pokemon cards, and I'm like, oh, crud, she thinks I am stealing, and I was like, no, 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 um, I actually bought these at the Dollar General, I have a receipt if you want to look at it, and she was like, yeah, she was really polite about it, and that was nice, but I pulled out the receipt, she saw that I had in fact purchased them from Dollar General, who had them for like almost three dollars cheaper, mind you, so of course I'm not gonna buy them from Rite Aid, and it turned out to be fine, but like, that gave me such anxiety. And also, if I were stealing them, then why am I going to have them very obviously, like, coming out of my purse? Not to mention that that's totally not the type of person I am at all. I would feel awful. But anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd include that in there. Bye for real now.